Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sari Kolia here and welcome again to another statue review. And this time I get the chance for the first time in this channel to review a Twitter hit maquette. I'm so excited. This is one of my most anticipated pieces of 2022. And definitely there's a lot to talk about this piece. There's some good stuff to talk about. There's some bad stuff to talk about. I think at the end, it's just a matter of opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. So I wanna share with you well, how I feel about this piece now that I have it in hand. So first, before we get into everything, I want to thank uh, Chad, uh, the owner of Twitterhead, for allowing me to get this piece. I didn't get the chance to uh, pre-order the exclusive. I was on the wait list at Twitterhead. I was on the wait list at SciShow, but I was kind of, you know, hoping that uh, I will get the chance. I, you know, I didn't know if it will go through to convert into a pre-order, but I, I, what I did is I reach out to Chad on the weekend of San Diego Comic Con, I say, hey, Chad, I, I, I want this piece so bad. I want the exclusive. Can you help me out? And he was very kind. Of course, it was the weekend of San Diego Comic Con, so he didn't get back to me until probably a week later, but he says, hey, I have one for you. And uh, he sent me an invoice, I paid for it, and I'm so glad that it's here now. And this Superman, uh, I think it looks amazing. Uh, so now let's get into the review. I, I want to look at the box first. I always mention the box. Uh, this is a, I think it's a good size box. It's, it's huge. It's not the biggest 1.6L box that I ever seen, but it's really big in comparison to other pieces. And I really like the art. Now the back of the box has the same art. The only difference is that it doesn't have the Superman logo. On both sides of the box, you can see the logo of Superman in blue. Top of the box says Superman maquette. At the bottom of the box, you can see the logo DC Comics, and it also shows the number of the piece. This is an artist proof, number 14 out of 500. All right, guys, now we're looking at the piece, and I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with this sculpt. The moment that it was showcased, what was that, a year ago, almost two years ago, I was, I was already anticipating this piece to be amazing, for sure. Uh, I love the work of Guillermo Barbiero. Guillermo is an amazing sculptor. I have talked about him many, many times on this channel. He has done amazing work over the years, whether it's through SciShow Collectibles, through other different companies, and definitely he's killing it with Twitterhead. I love his art, and this Superman captures this essence of Superman so amazingly. I, I'm just blown away by the dimension of this piece. And I know some people don't like the bulky Superman or the bulky superhero. Some people prefer the more natural look. I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with any look. I, I love the stuff that happened in the 70s. Of course, I was born in the late 70s, but also grew up in the 80s, and then I have been through the 90s. So to me, I love comics. I love these characters. With whatever representation is there, I'm all for it. And I'm sure, you know, that a lot of people share the same sentiment that I have. One thing I like about the piece is that it's very majestic at every angle. You know, there's different angles that you can position this Superman, and I think it just plays so well with the, you know, with your eyes. I really like that. I can see that. I think the paint job is uh, excellent on mine. I know I've seen some pictures from some people online on the Facebook groups that they didn't have the same luck with the piece. There's a couple of mishaps here and there, but I'm sure that if you reach out to chat, um, if you reach out to Twitterhead, eventually they will help you out. And of course, it's a small company. They don't have the same resources as SciShow. It's difficult when you have a small company. So those things we have to kind of be mindful when we're dealing with a small company. But at the same time, when you're dealing with the, the a small company, you're also dealing with the owner. Chad is the owner and he's the one dealing with customers, which to me is amazing. You don't get the chance to speak with the owner at SciShare Collectibles, unfortunately. I seen the complaint about the S not being as smart, and I will tell you one thing. It doesn't look as smart because of the camera in my case, but if you go there, you can see the lines are, are better. But at the same time, I'm not displaying the, the piece this way, so I'm not gonna see it, but I can see the S. But at certain angles, it seems like, a, you know, with the camera, and this because with the lens, it seems that the lines are almost invisible, but they are there. You can see it, uh, you know, with the natural eye, it's there, maybe it's just the lighting. Now, I like the red on the cape. It's the same red that is used on the trousers and also on the boots. I think it's a really bright red, very alive, and I think it's the perfect choice of color. It's the, cho it's the right choice of color for this red, for Superman. I like it very, very much. You know, I, I, you know, I know that some people may complain because they would like to have more shading in the character. I don't think it's necessary, particularly for Superman. I love the how lively the colors are. You know, some characters, they 
definitely need more of the shading i see the yellow that is being used on the belt it does have also a little bit of orange in it it's kind of cool i like it and definitely that base looking at that base i will tell you that base is heavy that's something that i was so surprised when i was looking at the piece because for the most part when you look at you know when it's one six scale statues nowadays they you know any statue overall they tend to be very light and not as heavy they're hollow this was heavy i don't know how much because i haven't weighed it but it was heavier than a lot of other pieces that i had in the past even quarter scale pieces the peg that goes in it's a really nice peg, it's very solid, and the base is very solid. So it's not like you have to be afraid that this is gonna fall, it's gonna trip, or it's gonna bend at some point or lean. I think this is something that is really, really important for a lot of collectors. Now, this is the exclusive, therefore you get four different portraits. This is the regular portrait, which in my opinion is the best and the one that most people are going to use. It has a, a magnet, it's a very strong magnet, and also the heads are really heavy. But looking at the face, Look at the eyes. That is a complaint that I'm going to mention in a moment. I'm going to talk about it because some people are not happy with the eyes, but to me, the mine are, are fine. I'm okay with it. I, I really like the, the the dimension here, but this is just the regular and you can see there is that little hole that is left on top of the statue. And this is the other piece. And I'll tell you, this is, it's growing on me. It's not my favorite portrait, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I like it, but I, I wasn't also, blown away by it when it was uh, announced. I will say that between this two with the paint job, I think the paint job is better on this one on the regular one, the classic one, the classic John Byrne. And I think with the hair is more like a 90s kind of look, although it's not necessarily a mullet, you know, which I would love for him to have a mullet, Jurgen style, something like that from the 90s. That would have been even better, but it is growing on me. I will tell you, it's good to have options, you know, to be able to display things differently from time to time and this gives you options so now if you're ordering or getting the exclusive which is already sold out but you can go on the wait list and you get this extra porters the one with the painted eyes and i'm telling you these are really good my wife actually normally she doesn't like this type of thing or she doesn't like like the excessive colors and things but she actually chose this one as her favorite and i will tell her um, i will tell you i think she's right that is a pretty good color. Um, and of course, when you're displaying it, of course, some people don't like the, the paint. It's a simple paint job on it. Um, of course, it would have been better. You have a light of features of some sort. I like it. I think it's an extra that is, you know, it's good. If you know you want to repaint it or customize it, it's up to you. But I like this one in comparison between those two. I think I like both. They're not that bad. Definitely, um, you can see some difference there. And actually the paint job on both is really, really good. Now, of course, you have this one with the long hair. And that also, also is, is pretty, pretty good. And you can compare it with this one right here. Now, I want to mention this because I know some people want to hear my opinion in regards to it. I will tell you one thing. Um, a lot of people are having some issues with the eyes in the sense that they, they say that they're too small or they're badly painted. Now, I seen some pictures that they don't look as great, and I will tell you, even my pictures don't look as great. But when you look at them in person, they're not that, that bad. Although I have to agree that the eyes seem to be a bit small. Now, there was someone saying that this was the, the, the fault of the sculptor, and I'm going to disagree with that. It's not the sculptor's fault. Because if you look at the prototype and you compare it to this one, you notice that the prototype seems to have regular size size. Of course, you know, we're talking about dimensions here where this Superman is bigger, is bulkier. That's just the style that they're using here. In this case, Guillermo is using here. David Igo is the art director. All of them as a team, they're just coming up with this Superman they envision. So to me, I feel that it was more a decision in the factory. Perhaps when they do is that they, instead of painting on, on top of it, they just simply paint like little decals and then just stick those little decals. So I'm guessing there was some, perhaps disconnect in the size um, because they do look a bit small. However, that doesn't mean that they're bad looking, that they actually deter from the piece, you know, because to be honest with you, the piece looks amazing. You can see the dimensions. To me, it looks fine. Yes, you know, you can always customize it. The tone that was used for this, I feel that it's too brown in some ways. I wish it was a different tone, a little more on the natural skin, perhaps. Um, it's a bit more beige. I don't know, it's more brownish or earthy and perhaps that's the only complaint i may have with this piece but to be honest with you now that i have the good lighting here with the good you know the, the slams and all 
it looks great. I think the light up, um, the lighting that you have in your room will create a different effect for the statue. So at the end of the day, also it's not only having a statue, it's also have a proper display, a proper lighting in the room. So that enhances the way your every statue looks. So to me, that is just, I think the biggest thing, uh, and sometimes we kind of forget I will tell you, overall, the piece, the detail is good. I don't see any glue anywhere. I don't see any imperfection or major imperfections. Minor things, just very, very minor, particularly in the lines. Uh, I will tell you with this one, this head has like a little lines where it doesn't look as good or just the lines are not perfectly done and the hairline, all that. But that's just minor. And, you know, I'm not going to be looking at this like this. I'm going to be looking this like that at a distance so i think at a distance it just looks perfect so you don't have to worry about that now one concern a lot of collectors have particularly those collectors that have been collecting the superpowers line for quite some time is how this compares in size and scale with with those pieces with the the first pieces produced by Twitterhead. and i don't have anything to compare it with the only other twitter head piece that i have is the poison ivy that came out recently that poison ivy also is big in comparison to the older pieces because it's on the new line on the new stuff that they're doing now so it's big and when i'm looking at this superman i gotta be honest with you it looks bigger i've seen some pictures on facebook groups where they compare with superpowers and other pieces and definitely this is a lot larger than anything else that has been done before from Twitterhead and even in comparison to other companies uh, whether it's DC Collectibles or where you can compare this with even with Kotobukiya. Here you can see this is the Artifacts Batman that I reviewed no long ago. This is the most recent version. The I would say the most accurate color version and you can see he is very small. Superman is really huge. It gets to the point that I'm feeling that this this feels more like a Comic Cat, a one-fifth scale statue from SciShow. Now, let me give you another size comparison for reference. And we have Mando, the Mandalorian, and the child from Hot Toys. This is, you know, if you know, if you're familiar with Hot Toys, they are promoted as one six scale figures. So we're, we're actually, they're 12 inch figures. And, you know, the standard kind of varies. Sometimes some are bigger than others, but it's within the 12 inch scale. And I will tell you, Mando looks also small in comparison to Superman. Superman is really tall. He is big. So that gives you an, a reference that you're dealing with a piece that actually is going to be bigger than the superpowers line or anything else that you put it with. This is designed ultimately just to be displayed with the other pieces that are coming on this 2.0 new superpowers line. All right, guys, what can I say? This is a gorgeous piece. I am blown away by it. I, I like it. I was a bit it's skeptical because some of the feedback I was getting from other collectors. But I decided just to, you know, take a leap of faith and just do what I do, which is, at the end of the day, uh, I think it's uh, any impression of art, it's, it's a personal thing. You know, whatever you encounter with art, it has to be a personal experience. It has to be something that you have to do on your own. If you already pre-ordered this, just wait for it. Don't fret. Or once it gets to your home, then you make that call. Don't just simply go by someone else because I think that's the biggest thing. You start you start to worry about this or that, and ultimately, there are a lot of things can, that can be fixed. And you know, hype is something that exists out there in the collectible world. You know, every, everything gets hype. At the same time, the hype can be in reverse. People can just bring something down, and also that brings you down. I am satisfied. Is it perfect? Of course it's not. I never seen a perfect statue. In almost 20 years collecting, I've never encountered a perfect statue. Every statue that I had had a minor imperfection. At the end of the day, these are hand painted pieces. But I see them, I always see them, you know, as pieces of art. And I love even their imperfections. I do love their imperfections. Now, if the imperfection is too much, then of course you have to reach out to customer service and get a replacement get something resolved but you know try to uh, try to avoid all that drama that comes around it i like it um there are things that could have been done better yes but i don't think that detracts from this piece at the end of the day this is only i only pay what 375 was 350 plus 25 dollar for the shipping here in the u.s to me that's a bargain yeah this piece the quality the weight of this piece i will tell you you can pay a lot more money if you're buying from another company so I think it's a great price. It's a bargain in comparison uh, with other pieces at, in this market. So to me, that is perfect. The weight of the piece alone is perfect. So I'm glad with it. You know, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Looking forward to the next pieces in the collection, which I'm going to add. They already own pre-order. I already pre-ordered those. And, and I'm waiting for them to arrive and I start just reviewing this in the channel. So 
What do you think, my friends? Do you like it? You don't like it? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button to so remind you of the next video. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The links are down below. And please consider supporting the channel financially through Patreon. My friends, God bless you. Take care. I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.